Hello, I'm Casey Neely, editor of Window Film Magazine, bringing you this special edition of the filmed newscast. Tonight, Barbara Walters names her top 10 most fascinating people of the year. While there are certainly many interesting people in the window film industry, one of the most fascinating people I was lucky enough to sit down with recently was Travis Smith, the Vice President and General Manager of Performance Films for Eastman Chemical Company. It's been a busy year for Smith & Eastman. The company was named Energy Star's Partner of the Year, appointed Mark Costa as its new President and CEO, as well as announced plans to invest $40 million in its Martinsville, Virginia plant. I know that you guys just announced a recent investment in your Martinsville plant. Could you talk a little bit about that investment and what that's going to mean? No, no, very exciting for us. And uh, that investment's looking forward. We didn't talk much in that um, notice about the investments we've already been making this year. So uh, a number of other millions of dollars of investments into Martinsville, really underpinning a few things. One is continuing to keep progress on quality and best-in-class investments toward um, ensuring that the products we're putting on market meet the needs of the consumers and the dealers from a quality perspective. Um, capacity expansions to support the growth that we've got going within this business worldwide. And then some technology investments to continue to invest in next generation materials. When we look at the site, um, a lot of great foundation there. I mean, the world's largest window film manufacturing site. But we saw opportunities to really enhance some of the investments. Additionally, the company relaunched its Lumar brand design. So a lot of what you're seeing here is underpinned by a lot of research we've done around consumer and dealer needs to start making the brand fresh, modern, and messaging that resonates at the consumer level and the dealer level. Um, but a lot of the technical data doesn't speak at the consumer level. So how do you take these range of value propositions, understand what different consumer demographics need, and then create those simple messages and content that help people draw into the category who might not have considered window film before? That really underpins a lot of what you're seeing in terms of the new marketing materials. To top it all off, the company was visited at the SEMA show by this year's International Window Film Conference and 10 off Automotive Division champion Randy Humphreys, who performed tent demonstrations in the company's booth. Both the Lumar brand and Humphreys were even requested by West Coast Customs to tennis a celebrity car at the show. Smith says he only sees growth in the company's future. And I'd say I think on an absolute basis, square footage of film, dollars of growth, automotive is still where, for us, we see just tremendous opportunity still. I know a lot of folks might tell you that they think the market's a bit mature on automotive. We see it differently. So we're very excited about that and, and, and what it means for both us and our dealers. I think architecture continues to be a bit of the untapped opportunity across the industry. I know that there had been some turnover recently with the change. It was Solutia, then it was, right. there was some change with the company. It looks like we're having some really good signs of stability from you guys right now. Could you speak to that and the directional growth that you guys look to attain over the next couple of yeah, years? Yeah, I made some comments to our dealer base last night that uh, I think Lumar has found a great home mm -hmm. inside of Eastman, but I'd also say Eastman's found a great business with Lumar. Um, if you look at our company's track record, and, and we were explaining this last night, go back over the past five or six years, the track record of taking businesses with this kind of capability potential that are really underpinned by differentiated technologies or brand and offering, and then investing to grow them. And a lot of what we started this year with was a bit behind the scenes for folks, a bit of foundational rebuilding in this business, and what is now starting to come to light um, through SEMA, after SEMA, are the output of that. It's becoming more visible to our dealer base. So I'm hoping through those things, this question around stability, this question around commitment, it starts to fade away for people. It's been a bit of a rough history, but uh, if you look at the past 18 months and the progress, I'm hoping that really reinforces to the dealers where we're going. What is your outlook, or Eastman's look as a whole, um, for the window film industry within the coming year or so? Yeah, so I'll tell you how we talk about it internally and how we kind of process some of those metrics. Um, from an automotive perspective, we feel really good for two reasons. I mean, we do have a correlation to automotive sales, but go back to the things we're talking about, about expanding category usage, getting more people to think about the value propositions. Our opportunities in front of us are greater than our car sales going to grow 3% or 5% next year. There's a correlation, but the opportunities are broader than that. I think as uh, we've kind of gone through this year, um, an area that wasn't quite as uh, successful as we might have hoped is the residential architecture market was a little softer than we'd hoped for. A lot of factors behind that. We've done a lot of analysis around comparable categories, and it seems to be true in many facets, but we're really hoping for a bit of rebound as we go into next year. We think there's some pent-up demand through residential applications for window films, and uh, architecture window films, I think, continue for our industry to be a bit of an untapped market. And now, a word from our sponsors.
That's all for this special edition of the Film Newscast and wraps up our 2013 coverage. Be sure to stay tuned in 2014 as we cover even more on the window film, paint protection, and vinyl wrap industries. I'd like to personally thank you for watching all of our 2013 newscasts and wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season. Thanks for joining us.